Hello viewers, this is Wagadaru now taking you through today's tutorial on parallelogram of forces. So we shall consider two forces, F1 and F2, inclined at an angle theta to each other. So this is F, F1, this is F2, and the angle is theta in between them. So the parallelogram ABCD can be completed, how? By reproducing this force here, and also reproducing this force here. I think you can not see that this is dotted and this is dotted. Why? It is because this is not another force. It is just a reproduction of this. So if you make it f with full lines, it means it is a new f it's a force on its own. But it's dotted because it is a reproduction of this. Similar to this, it is a reproduction of this, so it has to be dotted. Now, since this is the same as this, in vector vectorially, this plus this will give the resultant, which is SC. Now, SC denotes the resultant of the forces F1 and F2. Since this angle is theta, here it will also be theta. And also, this will also be theta corresponding angles. Angles in a straight line, add up to 180. So, this remaining angle will be 180 minus theta. Now this one shall let it to be alpha because we have to get the magnitude and the direction of the resultant. After completing our pyrogram, we shall extract out this triangle ABC. When we extract it out, we shall see that cosine rule can be used to get the resultant because this force is known, this force is known, and this angle is known. So F will be equal to the square root. So we have to put the square root there. So it will be equal to the square root of F1 squared plus F2 squared minus 2 times F1 times F2 cos theta. Now this cos should be 180 minus theta because the angle is 180 minus theta. It's the one we are interested in. Then by sine rule, we shall say sine alpha over F1 will be equal to sine 180 over F. With that, since this is known, this is known, and this is also known, alpha can be got, which will be the direction of the resultant of the two forces, F1 and F2. So we shall use that knowledge to solve this problem. Forces P equal to 10 newtons and Q equal to 4 newtons act away from a point A. The magnitude of their resultant is 8 newtons. Find the angle between P and Q. So we shall first draw P, which is 10, and Q, which is 4. Then we complete our parallelogram. Complete our parallelogram. Reproduce this 4 here. Remember the, angle, the line has to be dotted. Then this 10 also will be, the, will be here. We, they told us that the resultant is 8. So put your 8 here. We don't know this angle between and it's the one they want. So this, by this we have got now a triangle. We all have all the sides but we don't know the angles. In that case we shall use cosine rule whereby this squared will be equal to 10 squared plus 4 squared minus 10 times 4 times cos 180 minus theta, just as it is here. Then from there, you shall simplify. This squared is 64. This squared plus this squared is 116. 2 times 10 times 4 will be 80. Then cos that. Then make cos theta the subject. You shall come up with this step. Then when we get our cos 0 0.65, we shall get 49.4584. Then when we make theta the subject, we shall come up with 130.5416 degrees. So that is the angle they wanted. We shall now go to another problem. Two forces have magnitude 5 and P newtons. If the resultant force has a magnitude 6 and acts at an angle 40 degrees to the 5 newton force, find the value of P. So since they are going to ask the angle to the 5 newton force, it is better to get this 5 newton force be on the horizontal. So this is the 5 newton force. This is the P. 
Now this is the angle between the two forces, but they said the resultant has an angle of 40. So what we shall do is first complete our parallelogram by reproducing this P here. Then this angle will be the angle the resultant makes with 5 Newton force, which is 40 as it was given in the question. So I think we can see that we have this side, and we have this side, and we have this angle, meaning we can still use cosine rule to get P. So P squared will be equal to 6 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 6 times 5 cos 40 degrees, just as it is here. And when we, make a, when we get the square root, we shall be able to get our value of P, which is 3.8778. Newtons. So that comes to the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform. I remain Walgada Ronald. Thank you.